terror in aisle nine. The fluorescent lights hummed a discordant symphony, casting a pale, sickly glow over the aisles of Mart of the Masses. It was 3 a.m., the only time Alice could shop in peace. The silence, punctuated by the occasional groan of the refrigeration units, was a welcome reprieve from the usual cacophony of shoppers. Tonight, though, the silence felt heavier, oppressive. Alice, picking up a carton of eggs, noticed a shiver run down her spine. The air, usually cool and sterile, felt clammy and charged. She glanced around, but the aisles seemed unchanged, empty and desolate. She continued her shopping, her apprehension growing with each passing minute. The aisles, usually lined with familiar products, now seemed to twist and warp, their boundaries blurring. The shelves, piled high with canned goods and cereal boxes, resembled a grotesque, hungry maw. Suddenly, a sound, a low, guttural rumble, rippled through the store. Alice froze, her heart pounding in her chest. The sound came again, closer this time, a rustling, slithering noise that seemed to emanate from the depths of the store. She started to walk faster, her eyes darting from aisle to aisle. It felt as if she was being watched, stalked by unseen eyes. She reached for her phone, only to realize she had left it in the car. Panic surged through her, tightening her chest like a vice. Hello? She called out, her voice trembling. The silence responded, mocking her fear. Then, she saw it. A shadow, large and shapeless, lurking at the end of the aisle. It moved with an unnerving fluidity, like a puddle of oil, its edges indistinct and menacing. Alice backed away slowly, her eyes locked on the shadow. It seemed to be gathering itself, growing larger, more ominous. Her legs felt like lead, her body refusing to obey her command to run. The shadow began to move, slithering towards her. The sound of its movement, a scraping, slithering noise, filled the air, sending chills down her spine. Alice stumbled backward, tripping over a stray box of crackers. She scrambled to her feet, her heart pounding against her ribs like a trapped bird. As she turned to flee, she saw it. The shadow, now fully formed, stood before her. A towering figure, its form shifting and contorting like a nightmare, its face a mask of unblinking, malevolent eyes. Alice screamed, a primal cry of terror. The creature's eyes, cold and empty, met hers. Then, with a sound like a thousand cracking bones, it lunged. Alice woke with a gasp, her heart pounding in her chest. The fluorescent lights of her own kitchen seemed to mock the terror of her dream. She felt a cold sweat clinging to her skin, the memory of the creature's cold, empty eyes still fresh in her mind. She checked her phone, realizing she had dreamt about the supermarket because she had forgotten to pick up milk. But as she stared at the familiar products on her kitchen counter, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, that the supermarket, filled with its quiet hum and sterile chill, was hiding something dark and terrifying, and that she had only just caught a glimpse of it. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.